Hello friends and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today's video is the beginning of a series and I think I'm going to run it for the next four, four Wednesdays, four weeks. And it's an organized, clean and organized in my kitchen or in my home. I'm starting today in my pots and pan cabinet and I may do all of the cabinets that house, if I have time, the video doesn't get too long, um, the cabinets that have pots and pans, be it glass or metal. My desire is to go through and to purge any pots that have that Teflon coating that has been scratched because we all know that's not good for us and to clean the bottoms of the ones that I'm keeping so that I'll know what I need to replace. And that's my goal for today, to purge whatever I'm not using and to make a list of what I need to replace. I know that my favorite pot, which is a tea fowl that I've had for ooh, over 15, 20 years, is now damaged in the bottom. So I know I'm gonna have to get rid of it. And I bought the whole set when I bought it years ago and it has lasted and has done really, really well. What I loved about that set was it had the steamer hole on the top so the pots wouldn't boil over because you could just open the steamer and it would let steam out and the pot wouldn't boil all over on your stove. I don't know if I'll be able to find that again, but I do know I'm gonna to have to replace the pot. I'm thinking stainless steel or cast iron. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, stainless steel or cast iron. I'm looking at both of those. So what we're gonna do is jump right in to my cabinet. I'm starting in this cabinet here with just pots and pans. And I have another one over there that also has some small appliances, but it also has like uh, cookie sheets and pizza plates and that we never use. So we're gonna go through and see what happens. Next week, we're gonna be purging our um, utensils. So come back for that as well. But come on in and let's purge some pots. So guys, here we're going to take everything out of this first cabinet. I'm going to wipe the cabinet out. I'm not changing any paper because it's all um, the paper that I like and it's still clean and looks nice. I just did it last year. This is the pot that I was telling you about that I have to get rid of. You see how those, it's got little picks in it. If it were smooth, I may still use it, but those little picks standing up, I'm sure it's getting into our food and it makes me uncomfortable. So as much as I love it, I'm going to have to let it go. But uh, anyway, this is the way the cabinet looks, and I'm going to go ahead and take everything out, and then we'll go from there. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. We need to go through our things every once in a while. I had a brand new one, a uh, loaf pan, but I still kept that old crusty one. So today, the old crusty one goes away. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm sure there's more, too. Here, friends, I have used two systems for my pot lids. I have this one where I just have them in a Dollar Tree bin. And to tell you the truth, I really like that one. But for my glass lids, I have them um, in one of those, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a letter holder. Um, and I've had that, but it's really getting them out sometimes. You know, they all fall out. It, it's just not working for me. So I may end up putting them all in a bin, just a Dollar Tree bin. To, the important thing to do is to find a system that works best for you. And that's what I'm trying to do. Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time it's nice to see that um, it didn't get really dirty down here. I'm wiping it out because I'm sure it got dusty, but... Uh, like I said, I did this last year and added new paper and everything, and everything seems relatively clean still. So I'm just wiping it out, you know, because I should. And then I'm going to find a way to thumbtack maybe that top shelf paper down so it doesn't move around. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way it's held up. You know, this is that Dollar Tree black rose paper that I love and have everywhere. As you can see, friends, I've decided to stick with the um, Dollar Tree bin system for my metal uh, pot lids. And then you'll also see coming up that I am, I've decided to try that system as well for my glass lids. It's all about trial and error until we find the system that works for us. I'm thinking that's going to be the one for me um, for a while. 
The other just, just didn't resonate with me at all. It was too difficult for me to work with. I am showing you these taco shell pans. I've had them for two years. I've never used them. My plan is to use them this year. If I do not use them within the next three months, then they go as well. They're brand new, never used. <laughs> So now we will go through the pots. If I find any with really bad bottoms, I'm going to stop and clean the bottoms and uh, any ones that are damaged will go away. That bottom though looked pretty good, huh? Hope the rest of them do as well. <laughs> well, this one is between bad and not so bad. I think I'll let it go for now, but I will clean it the next time that I use it. I promise. This copper bottom is in really good shape too. I've not done so bad this year. Yay me! Although these do not have the picks in it like the big one from this set does, I will be replacing these at some point really soon. Just not yet. That little one is my favorite rice pot. Oh my, you have no idea. It just cooks rice perfectly. And the bottoms didn't look so bad either. I've scrubbed them so much until the, <laughs> they were sort of gray looking on the bottom instead of being uh, the black. But like I said, they are years and years and years old. They've held up really, really well. So now on to putting other things away. I have used this pan here once, but it's a great pan and I'm going to hold on to it just in case I get rid of some of the others that I have. So we'll see. And if I don't use it, there'll always be another purge within six to eight months. So <laughs> it's ongoing, people. So these pans, folks, came from the other cabinet that I'm going to do really quick. That will be a quickie. All I have to do is go under and straighten things out because there's nothing there that I actually want to purge. It's mainly small appliances. And I had my pans separated some over here and some over there so i'm trying to bring them all together so i'm moving the ones that i can over here This um, loaf pan I thought was so cute. I bought it. You see the paper is still in it. And that's my issue. I bought it because I thought, how cute to make separate loaves of, you know, of cornbread or loaves of, of banana bread or whatever bread you're making, nut bread. Did you see the paper still in it, people? I haven't used it yet, but it's brand new. Okay, another six months. Let's see what happens. If I don't use it, I'll bless someone else with it. So my friends, that's one cabinet down. 
I did get rid of a few things. I did purge. There's the other side. And I did decide to put the glass ones in a Dollar Tree bend as well. We'll see how that works. I'm not going to get rid of the other system just yet. Also, you can see that when I purged a little, I had enough room to put most of my pans in this one cabinet, which left a little more room in my cabinet with the small appliances, which we'll get to in a minute. But yeah, this is it. Um, I showed you the bottom of my pots and most of them, well, all of them, I didn't need to scrub any because I pat myself on the back a little bit here. I've kept them pretty clean. Um, I do have two more pots that go to the tea fowl set that I'm getting rid of the big pot. And it's my, oh, I love that pot for making light rice, the littlest one. And then the next size, um, it doesn't seem to be scraped up as bad or scraped up. Um, it seems clean on the inside. I showed that to you. And the rice pot too seems to be pretty clean on the inside. It's just that big pot, I guess, because others are helping me stir soups and stews and that kind of thing. And no one else knows, believe it or not, knows how to prepare rice and that kind of thing. So I'm going to hang on to those for a little bit unless I find a whole complete set. My goal right now is just to replace the um, Dutch oven. But who knows, I may run up, in, you know, in my search and may run up on a good deal for a set. But as you can see, I don't really need a whole set because I have the stainless steel as well. So I'm not really stressed. It's just, I don't know, if you're a cook and you love your kitchen, there are just certain things that you use, that you go to. And that was my go-to Dutch oven, even though I have a large stainless steel and a medium stainless steel. So I'm going to just have to go to one of those from now on so we'll see I also kept the steamer stainless steel I don't use it often but you need a steamer and it's the only one I have even though it's small so I'm keeping that and yeah I've tacked down the shelf, line, shelf lining paper because I don't stick it to my cabinets I use a thumbtack on the ends and so that's what I did here because you know, I may find a paper that I like more than this. I haven't yet. I've been using this. Even when I switched out, I switched back to this. I love this, these black roses. I have it in all my drawers and everything, too. I'll give you a peek, even though we're going to go through these. As you can see through that black. It's down there, too. It's in all, the, all of them except one cabinet, and that's the one where the Tupperware. And I have cleaned it and wiped it out. I just have not changed that paper, but we're going to do that while we're going through this. But, yeah, that's that cabinet, and I'm really kind of proud of myself. But now let me show you what I've purged and gotten rid of. So let's go over there. So I didn't just get rid of my Dutch oven, but you can see how this is like scraping off. And the other two pots that go with this set aren't like that. I just don't feel that this is safe anymore, so it's got to go. And I also got rid of a cake pan that was really, really used. And it's larger than my, like if I make a three-tiered cake, I have cake pans that match the same size. This one was a little larger and kind of beat up so I got rid of that of course there's the top to my tea fell and this is what I was saying that I love this little area right here where you can open the steam and so the pot doesn't boil over I love that but I gotta, gotta go and one of my loaf pans this I replaced it and just didn't get rid of it I showed you the new one bought it a couple of months ago and just kept this one down there but it's worn been used a long time so it has to go so that's what I've purged so far. So now we're going to go and straighten up. I don't think there's much to do. But I'm going to take you anyway to my small appliances. And I have dishes down here too. So we're going to see. I have to get the light and let you see what's down here. Be right back. Okay, friends. So I didn't purge anything. I did move one cup from the Ninja that's going to go up with the plasticware. Other than that, I just wiped down the cabinets, tacked down the paper, and switched things around a little bit. It looks like I have a whole lot more space, too. Um, it turned out well. I'm pleased with it. So those were my two pots and pan cabinets for this week. Like I said, next week we will do utensils. I hope you'll stick and stay with me for this series. Yeah, that's that.
Okay, share pictures of what you're doing too on my private Facebook page. Just go over and sign up. Then you can share what you're doing too if you're if you're going along on this journey with me. I'm pleased with both my cabinets though. So friends, that's the first installment of our kitchen organization series. I have purged and organized and cleaned my pot pot to pans uh, cupboards. They turned out well. I hope yours did as well. Stay tuned next week when we'll be doing our uh, utensils. And I'm going to do what I always do, and that is invite you to find something today that brings joy into your life. I'm also going to invite you to subscribe, like, and share this video. And now I'll leave you the way that I always do, and that's with lots of love, hugs, and blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.